Welcome aboard. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Hi. Just watching some old videos. When times were good. They're still good, but... Talking about all the bits we used to do. Over at the other building, uh, the XM building, as opposed to the Sirius building. When we, uh, I think we could all admit, we're happier. It was just nicer. We it was just a nice place to be. We had our own alone. space, our own studio. A lot of space. Fans coming by every day. Yeah. That kept us motivated, brought an energy with them. We could feed off their energy yeah. and do bits with them. And then we were low enough to the sidewalk where we could go outside and do all sorts of events. Yeah. Well, look at that sidewalk fishing in New York City. Basically, we uh, we had a whole office full of sex toys and porno and swag and all sorts of porno type swag. Yes. And then we would just drop it on the sidewalk, and then uh, we would broadcast and film people as they're walking by to see who was brave enough to to get a little free gift. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, classic. Just dropping dildos and, and what's not on the sidewalk. Yeah, and leaving them there for uh, whoever wanted to come by. And it, we would just howl when someone finally would, you know, make the move and pick it up. Yeah. And then we would drop more stuff on the sidewalk. Sidewalk fishing. Sidewalk fishing. And then box of cocks. Box of cocks Man. is one of the best bits we've ever oh, it was done. The funniest fuck. We took a box and then just put the hardcore gay porno images <laughs> inside the box a all of, over. A lot of hard penises. Yeah, lined oh, I, the inside of the box with them. It was a montage. And then in the middle. A, a decoupage. A decoupage. And then in the middle, <laughs> uh, we just had a giant dildo, big yeah. cock dildo. Yeah. Oh, there's the box. In the box. There it is. And then on the outside of the box was written free puppies. <laughs> And we just left it on the sidewalk for people to pass by and go, why are they? Oh, that's terrible. A box of free puppies in the middle of the sidewalk in New York City. And they would open the box up to right. see uh, the free puppies and if they were okay and right. be met with a gaze of a lot of hard, rigid, yeah. turgid cock. Now, if we tried this bit today, because I'm, oh. I'm looking at the date, 2007, Seven. five years ago. Five years. The NYPD would have... Blocks shut down. If oh my they saw God, right? a box that said "free puppies" on it. Yeah, <laughs> they would shut down this city. Oh boy! Oh no! My, my, oh boy! Oh, uh, right. oh, 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 yeah. oh, I was gonna man. do police. I was gonna do police radio sound. Batteries. Voice. Police radio go voice. Go we on. need batteries. How do oh, we get well. batteries done? Do we have get to ask E-Rock to ask no. the interns? Oh uh, well. Yes, fax E-Rock and see if he can send an email to the intern. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're not allowed to do anything with interns. I, I, I told these guys uh, a tradition that has been around for probably 50 years mm. where you hire interns and you beat the shit out of them. And sometimes sometimes you would actually beat the shit out of them for good radio. <laughs> this place shut down that activity. We're, we're not allowed, allowed when to... they come in to go, hey. Yeah, we're not allowed to do anything with interns nice. anymore. That's we can still do that. You. Be huh? nice. We can say good morning. How are you? Mm -hmm. We can have a good time with them. I, I, I needed a little something from an intern. I just did it myself because I'm like, I don't even know what that would but mean if I asked the guy. Is. What's the protocol? Yeah, it's, that, that was smart on their part. Be nice. A 50 Be year, nice. A 50-year tradition is, it has been shut down. You're not yeah. allowed to do anything with interns. There, there's no reason for them to be here. No, really. I mean, good luck to them and all. I hope they learn a thing or two. Yeah, think but, about it. But there's no reason to have them anymore. Yeah. We get our own shit. Who cares? Uh, but the box of cocks, there it is. People are box. looking at all these insensitive people who just walk right by a box of free puppies. Yeah. yeah. It's terrible. Maybe they knew there were cocks in it. You think yeah. they've seen this before? Yes, they've seen the box of cocks pit. Yeah. Don't be fooled again. Oh. Well. Fool you, me once. <laughs> you certainly can't do that anymore. Who's hey, that? Who's this? Who's this guy? That's Uncle Kevin. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't remember. I know who it is. Don't he's talk been around to him, for a while. Yeah, he's, don't he's talk dumb. to him. He's Management. The dumb one. Get us. Is he dumb? He's oh, dumb. Man. We might oh, take a look too far. Oh, he doesn't know where it is. Oh, Travis. Oh, Travis doesn't know. Travis. Travis. Oh, no. How many batteries does that take? That's crazy. That is a lot of batteries. Eight batteries. You're saving them? Eight double A's. Yeah, I know. Once you touch your tongue to each one, you can reuse it. <laughs> Fucking Are you a battery your saver? <laughs> your anal opening. Oh, yeah. You're a battery saver. Yeah. For Why? what reason? Because I'm not a millionaire. 
So yeah, but they're the dead. Batteries. These aren't luxury items. These aren't fucking fine antiques. They're dead batteries. <laughs> what are you gonna What are you gonna build a fucking and I love build how, furniture out of them? And I love a how regular people, guy. I love how people just throw it back in our face. When I had no money, I didn't save batteries. <laughs> no, you know what? People don't, don't save batteries yeah, ever. Don't save I don't batteries. Save batteries. I, I don't necessarily save batteries, but like dead. I'll I'll always rearrange them first before. Oh, what is that you're gonna, gonna, <laughs> You know, that's a little might, more juice. That might work for like. A little a bit, minute, exactly. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just need a minute. Do you oh. recharge your batteries? No, I don't Growing up, we uh, used to recharge our batteries. No. I do remember that, but we didn't have battery rechargers when I was a child. Really? We had those Rayovac batteries that were actually wrapped in cardboard. <laughs> Remember the batteries oh. that that used to leak all the time? They'd get like wet and ruin your toy. <laughs> they they were literally wrapped in uh, cardboard. Oh, I sort of it remember It was like that. a swirly, yeah, cardboardy yeah. thing with the label on it and everything. But if it would yeah. go bad, it would get, like, moist Bushy. and crystally and stuff. But, yeah. but yeah, then they started lining them in, like, fucking When was metal. the last time you used the word corrosion? Corrosion. Our batteries are corroding. It's the only time you use it. Unless, as a kid, that was a rank out. A you're, like, out. you're like, oh, she's corroded. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's corroded. You're corroded. <laughs> That's hilarious. Why would you say someone's corroded? Because <laughs> we're all assholes. Ew, don't fucking touch her. She's corroded. We're all assholes. That meant AIDS. That was kid AIDS. <laughs> they were corroded. <laughs> corroded. Yeah. Intern Craig loves candy. I don't even know what this one is. <laughs> we made Craig a... Uh... It was like the day after Halloween. Right. And Craig said he loved candy. Uh -huh. So he had to spend the entire show sitting on the couch <laughs> eating trick or treat <laughs> candy. Oh, yeah. I and I mean, like, pounds and pounds and pounds. You think we're allowed that. to do that nowadays? We can't even have an intern eat candy? I don't think you could have a staff member eat that much candy. No, no. No, because one woman died in a contest drinking water. Right. So nobody on the radio can drink water ever. Yep. That's how it goes. Look how big that bin of candy is. That is how things happen, though. One thing happens, we got to shut it down for everybody. That's uh, in the news uh, right now. What site? Fact, yeah. Daily Motion. Mm -hmm. how, That's how? where we ended up putting a lot of our videos because they YouTube were getting taken calling. down from YouTube. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, that's so, the main... Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, if you go to dailymotion.com, you'll find a lot of Opie and Anthony videos that you won't Daily find. Dailymotion. And some logos. <laughs> I got a few on Daily Motion because they, they don't... They're, they're cooler than YouTube. Yeah. YouTube gets just so panicky all the time over dumb stuff. <laughs> There's Craig just eating candy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So we're just... Motion. I don't even... Why? Oh, because of the Steve C. tribute, Sam noticed that the show sounded different. Yeah, it sounded... When we first got back to XM, yeah. it wasn't uh, better or worse. It just sounded different is what you're saying. Yeah, it sounded very different when you got back to XM. Yeah. And I said you were also... I felt like in the early days... Like of making fun of Steve's car and and you know call, naming him Martini Steve and stuff. Right. There was a more. Uh, it sounded a little more free to make fun of people. You guys didn't seem to be worried too much about mm. you know. Well, when you're beaten down like we have yeah. been in this place <laughs> for a few years, uh, yeah, it, you just stop doing those things. You we kept it fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we had a big also... studio with a studio audience and. Uh, we were on our own over there. It was uh, it was good. It, it was, was nice. Real good. But they we were also happy to be back. It was early on. Mm -hmm. Well, they said, "Trust us. You know, this is the place to be over here in this building." Isn't this great? We... <laughs> <laughs> That's the place to be. Even though we worked our whole careers to have our own setup, designed yeah. our own studio, bleachers, yeah. everything. Oh, it was fantastic. That studio but, was great. But man. they're like, "Trust us. This is where you want to be." No, you want to be here in a cubicle that looks like every other studio. And... Yep. Watch management walk around the hallways. And, I don't see him uh, walking around these days. Well, at the end of the show. About. Oh, at the end of the show, yeah. yeah I mean, they love the end of the clowns. show meeting. Like, oh, we just happen to be walking down here. Why is Craig puking? He's projectile vomiting peanut butter cups. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to do that anymore. Oh, huh? my God, no. So. No, that stinks. Never. We might not have been bad. allowed to do that then. Ah, we knew our own line back yeah. then. There was, there was always the company line and then our line. Yeah. And our company line, uh, our line moved a little further than the company line. But yeah. everyone was cool with it. We all kind of had an understanding. So, now they come running down the hall if we're scolding an intern. Oh, is he vomiting? A lot. <laughs> the Steve C. special was great, by the way. I just, know, I heard. People I loved listen. it. It was really good. I wanted to listen, I just couldn't listen. People loved but, it. But the feedback was amazing. Oh, God, on it. is he puking. It's cranky, no. bro. $50,000 for Steve C.'s family, E Rock? Just about? It's pretty yeah, righteous. We're, we're 
just under 50,000. That's great. Family. Nice. Can Thank you send you. me the link? I'll retweet it. Sure. Thank you for everyone who donated. That's uh, that's wonderful. Something positive. All right. Don Imus is uh, 72 today. Oh. Yeah, I'm 72 years old today. Wow. 72 you... years old. Oh, my God. <laughs> 72. Wow. All right. How was uh, everyone's weekend? Oh, wonderful. You what a I... nice weekend. It was nice weather. You know, I, I told you before the show, I, I turned off the Colorado shooting coverage. Oh. And, and I realized that there was a nice, bright, sunny world out there where, yeah. the, where the birds were chirping and the, the waves were crashing. Oh, beautiful, right? It was just so nice. Yeah. I think we, I think we kill, I, I think we kill ourselves sitting in front of the TV and just, you know, trying to consume as much sadness as possible when these tragedies hit. Yeah, uh, with the 24-hour news, news tries, and uh, everything, you can't get away from it. And yeah. then you, you already have a level of sadness, but then the media is like, no, I think we could get it even worse. I think we could push the sadness thing up a little bit. Yeah, now we're going to just talk about each individual victim. Yeah. And that, this is really going to hurt. This is really going to hurt your heartstrings. I understand what happened. It was a horrendous tragedy. Yeah. Horrendous. I know all the the basic facts of it, but I I chose not to do what I usually do and just sit and watch every single minute of it. I would turn on uh, I would turn on the news, and uh, if they weren't talking about something new, I knew there was nothing new. Even though I just turned it on, because they would be pounding the shit out of that. Right. But they were just reiterating everything. People but they trick knew. you, and they go, "Well, coming up." Yeah, but you I got new. I know that trick. And so then, and then you sit there and you go, "You don't got new. You told me you got yeah. new, but it's the same." Same new. So I turned that uh, off. I'll turn something else on. Fuck that. Yeah. And uh, obviously horrendous, horrible. Yeah. No, no one. Even and everyone's debating how do we uh, solve this. Uh, you know how you solve this? Yeah. Uh, you realize that we're animals. Yeah. And you take this fucking asshole back out back and you shoot him in the head. Oh, that would be great. And guess what? The next asshole coward might think twice about this. Instead of throwing him through our judicial... But it's America! Fuck all that right now. And he knows that pull he's going to get in the news. Pull and... him out of that jail cell, take him out back, and shoot him. And don't even do anything with his body. Just let it sit there. Let him rot. For real! He, uh... Yeah. yeah he, he, he did this just so he'd get this type of recognition and attention. And they're giving him just what he wants. And they give it to they him. Give, of course. Not covering the story, Stickable. not talking about the victims, but I mean, on the cover of the post... Ugh. His fucking red hair, referring to him as the Joker. It's like they literally are giving him exactly... What I'm not talking about for. don't cover it. They got to cover it. But the way they're doing it, focusing on don't him... Don't call him Joker. Madman. Joker's madhouse yesterday. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exactly what he wants. Right. The press is doing. Bravo. Bravo to everybody who gave him what he wanted. Ugh. I say you just shoot him in the back of the fucking head. Yeah. Shoot him in the front of the head. Let him see it coming. Yeah, on the side. In the Whatever. face. I don't give a fuck. Just <laughs> shoot him in the face. Get him off this earth. Yeah. I went for a nice walk yesterday. I walked for an hour down oh, the West Side Highway. What? I thought of you because you, you would. That's, that's what I do. Did you find a short pier? <laughs> see? <laughs> what, were, what were you looking for that you were walking? Or was it really just peace of to, mind? I just woke up <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I'm like, I just wanted to exercise, but I'm like, I wanted to just go for a walk. It's nice down there. Yeah, it was great. So I walked wow. for an hour. You don't feel great. like you're in New York City when you're walking. No, and you walk longer than I would. I, w I walked longer than I would have done other How far down did for. you get? Eh, I did like 60 blocks like total. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. Nice. Mm, good one. Uh, you should get a bike. Uh, yeah, I thought of that too. It's made for a bike just going up and down the, the west side like that. It's really nice. Mm, ooh, and then Jimmy Norton came over to my house on Saturday to watch the UFC yes. fight. And, uh, and uh, Chip also came over. Which is very odd when it's just me and and Chip sitting on the couch. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's very odd that Chip comes over and starts talking. I look around the room and go, "There's no one else here." <laughs> Sometimes he needs to, to do something too. Sometimes with me, I just need to go somewhere and get away from Chip. <laughs> so you got him for a while. <laughs> it's all fun and games, but then when you realize uh, that Jim Norton's not in the uh, room anymore, yes, that's when it gets really Chip. creepy. And you got to tell Chip, no, nah, you wouldn't do that. You're lying. Uh, you're like, yeah, I, I would kick him. I would do the crane mm. and then kick him in the face. <laughs> it's like, what? No, you wouldn't do that, Chip. And I'm talking to Chip. Of course. <laughs> it was fun, there's though. No, there's See, no audience there. There's no other people. <laughs> sometimes you just have to go with it and just go like, really? Yeah. And you go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And then, uh, what an embarrassment. I, I was going to do a compound show on Saturday, but then I decide, uh, I, I, Jimmy texts, and I'm like, yeah, Jimmy's come over. We'll watch the UFC fight and everything, so I didn't do it. But before, I was, uh, I, I don't have to wear shoes because it's, it's the uh, compound show. I'm sitting down. So I just kind of put some socks on, and then I slid on these horrible, like, things, oh, slipperish Deck shoeish, beachy looking I shoe thing. I saw the picture. And so. I just slipped them on over dress socks. Uh, and, and I was walking around in those, and then Jimmy came over, and, and uh, I, I didn't even think about it. I'm sitting watching UFC. Why were you wearing dress socks? Well, uh, I had them on. You just like dress earlier. Socks? Yeah. Oh. Well, then I kicked my sneakers off, and then I put these things on. I kind of like the feel of a good dress you're sock. You're wearing dress socks and sneakers? I, I like a good I like the feel. See, look. look I don't look, know see? why you like dress socks. Because he likes, he likes going boating. I like the feel of a good dress what sock. About, I like that. They fall yeah. down. No, what? no, they don't my fall down. No, my calves, they do. A good dress <laughs> sock stays up, and, and the material is very thin. Thin no, and it. nice. I need a nice athletic no. white cotton sock. It's too bulky, and they got that seam thing. And it's, I yeah, love it. no, I need a good dress sock. Dress socks get me a sweating, and 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 it activates the athlete's foot. No, the uh, big fucking athletic it really does. sock it, is that. They don't call it dress sock foot. Well, the athletes, it's athletic socks. It's athlete's foot. <laughs> no, <laughs> athletic socks soak up the moisture that. Oh, will that's cause good. The Hold it against foot. your fucking foot. But I think they call them dress socks because generally you wear them with dress dresses. shoes and dress oh. pants. And, no, they're very and dresses. I, I enjoy them much more than the I big bulky them. white you sock. Do. Yes, I, I have uh, two uh, two pairs of dress socks. That's it. They have yellow wow. toes. Uh, I think. Wow. So. Yep. And I only wear them maybe not even once a year at this point. Well, I was wearing them, <laughs> and I was wearing these other horrible shoey thing. And uh, I kick my feet up on the ottoman to watch a UFC. And I'm just sitting there. And <laughs> out of nowhere, I just hear this. <laughs> and I look over, and Jimmy is now fidgeting with his phone and smiling. <laughs> and I you. knew exactly what had happened there. <laughs> he, <got you. laughs> he took a picture and, and tweeted it. And it's It's terrible. Terrible. Um, that happens. What are you gonna yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. He he got me on that one. Uh, I I don't understand how you don't uh, enjoy a thinner sock. No, so I everything's love a, stuffed in a shoe. It just ugh. a thinner sock is nice, but I can't wear these. These like I'm wearing dark socks. No, no, I was wearing them yesterday, and they fall down. Dark Not the cheap down. black dress socks that everybody just has in their drawer to wear with. Uh, <laughs> Why are you defending this? To wear with, because you realize uh, we're right. No, you're not. You're panicking. So, you're panicking. Get, no. They get sweaty when I'm in a dress sock. No, no you gotta have the they're right tight. dress sock. There's no, something no, uncomfortable not. about a dress sock yeah. unless you're going to a wedding. That, or, no, or see, whatever. it's not a dress. See, like that sock right there that I'm wearing. That's a good Is sock. Is that cotton? It's uh, it's got to be cotton. <laughs> it's got. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 what are you in an eighties band? It's in an eighties band. Ah, that's a horrible picture. But the, it's no, there's a texture to it on the inside. It's just very comfortable. It's not just that that swath of thin black material dress sock. I'm not talking that. Don't they make your like they make my calves itch if they're too tight? Yes, because that's what I'm talking about. They hug your calf. The one, I, mean, I mean the go into you're talking about that yeah. don't fall down. Yeah. They hug your calf too tightly. And I don't like a strangled calf. I enjoy oh. a comfortable uh, a, I like a nice fucking Athletic no, tube sock. I, um, Crisp new pair of white Hanes socks. Uh, I won't totally go against the nice new white sock. Right. Mm -hmm. But it, uh, on a daily basis, I got to go with a, a good dress sock. You are a fancy man. I try. Well, what about the <laughs> shoes, though? Could we all, all right, agree look, you should throw those away? There's, there's yeah. a problem. Those are boating shoes. Yes. Why do you have boat shoes on? I had do those. You have, yeah, exactly. You're a hipster? Why? You are a hipster. I'm yeah. a hipster. Hipsters wear yes. boat shoes. Boat shoes with dress socks. Yeah. I'm ironic. It is. It's irony. Yeah. No, I, I had those for quite a while, and um, they were just sitting around, and I slid them on, <laughs> lest I did not have to go upstairs to put on my sneaks, because I was just going to do a compound show. So why why put on socks? So you say... Uh, or, I mean, shoes. You say slip into something a little more comfortable, and you come down in boat shoes and dress socks. <laughs> <laughs> they were downstairs. That's you why I a smoking them on. jacket with a pipe. Uh, I was thinking about it, yeah, but I I decided not to. Um, yeah, those shoes look so uncomfortable. Boating shoes, I dress socks, liked... and by the way, tactical pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, of course. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. I dress like an idiot. <laughs> you don't wear any tactical there. socks, though. No, I didn't have my 5'11 tactical socks. Those seem to be a bit tight. Those yeah, they're there. athletic in nature, but they're a bit uh, too snuggy mm-hmm. for my taste. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've no, tried. They are a little. They're snuggy. not bad. Yeah, they are snuggy. If you they're want a tight, snug though. sock, if you want to feel like your foot is being hugged That's all day, true. then yeah. those, those are the socks for you. I don't like any sock with a design on it. What Unless it's a couple stripes or it's something. Gotta be just well, everyone white, knows right? you're yeah. fucking Pure. milk toast fuddy duddy with everything. <laughs> do, you do, <laughs> like everything. do you do a little color on your toes though? I'll what? put a little gray on the toe, sure. I go gold. Gray, maybe some red stitching. A little gold, maybe a little gray, just on the toes. That's it. Everything that. else white. Uh, what about the heel? The no, heel's got a little gray. Gray too. on the heel. A little bit. Yeah, That's yeah. all right too. Do that. No logos. I hate logos. No, I don't like a logo sock. I don't like logos on anything. Remember yeah. the old white socks that had like the red and blue stripe no, around of the top? Course. Those are like your yes. basic generic. Gym I like when sock. the girls wear the socks all the way up, though. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah. Like, what is it now? Halfway up their thighs? Yeah. Two socks all the way Bobby up. Holy socks. fuck, are those socks sexy on the right broad? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you didn't watch the British Open, huh? No, not a second of it. Even in your boat shoes and your dress socks? Boat shoes, dress socks, tack pants. You watched the not. America's Cup race. <laughs> 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 Adam Scott had quite the collapse, though, sir. And Ernie Els, an old-timer there, 42 years old, wins the British Open out of nowhere. Hmm. He made up, I think, um, seven, uh, seven strokes on the final day. I think. Yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. I did hear about it, but I didn't watch any. No. Uh, there was a little chokage. There always seems to be chokage at the end of these tournaments. Somebody fucks up. Well, Adam Scott doesn't deserve to win because he... Uh, he uses the giant, the giant putter. Oh, he's got one of those big putters. He's one of those giant putter guys. I hate those giant putters. They look silly. You don't deserve to win anything if you putt that way. That's no. his first mistake. This is stupid. He's one of, I think, maybe two to three guys at this point that use the giant putter. It looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one you hold like? Way up. It's Way under his chin. It's under your chin. You Pretty much like, under his chin. Yeah, 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 it looks yeah. so... No, but you got to use your, like, your, uh, your middle finger and your index finger like this on the bottom. Oh, is that how he does oh, it? Oh, yeah. Swings it like he, a pendulum. He doesn't really hold uh, you know, the bottom part of the yes. part. Yes. He just kind of uh, directs it with those two fingers. It's stupid. Sounds stupid. But it was a good tournament. For the golf fans out there, whatever. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what, what else to say about that. Hmm. It's I love, golf. I love how much Travis hates this couple who I, I, I'm the guy, oh, yes. I think the guy, the couple who got engaged after the massacre now, like they're. Well, they have two kids. I, yeah, but I, I, I am, uh, I kind of hate them too. You do hate I'm them. I'm glad they survived, but I'm, I, 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 yeah, I hate the guy. I hate him. Um, He's, uh, yeah, Travis was talking about how much he uh, despises this guy. Here comes Trav. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's, it's questionable as to what he, uh, what he did during the, um, during the uh, shooting. Uh, was he um, uh, interested, more interested in self preservation or uh, heroics or, um, ah, what was going on there? Was he, oh, he pulling up? Cost- his way out of it. <laughs> I think what goes on is your brain completely shuts down. When mayhem is uh, all around well, you. Well, that's when people are separated into those categories of hero and uh, right. being able to right. look at a situation, assess and react, and sheer panic. The fight or flight comes into play, and apparently this guy loves that flight part of the isn't whole he, thing. Because isn't your parental instinct supposed to come in? Right. Like, and yes. you're protecting your young. Of course. Like he was, because he was at the movies sitting. It wasn't like they were separated at the, at the buying popcorn and he was inside. They were sitting together in the back of the theater, him with his fiance and his four or his chick and his four month old and their four year old. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, first of all, I just hate them for that. Yeah, that yeah. Is, yeah. For just bringing two kids that age. But you've hold on, you've never uh, brought your kid to anything to a sure, midnight movie. I have, but I, I've seen I've seen kids at all sorts of shit, and okay. as long as they're not acting up, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, Maybe but, they but knew that the kid would sleep through the whole fucking thing. I I, I wouldn't take that chance as as somebody who. Who hates other other parents that 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 do that? Mm. Like, I brought, a, hold on, I brought my kid to I because I, I, I saw this all over Facebook and I laughed at these idiots because they have no clue. I've brought my uh, very young son to to movies, restaurants, and whatnot. Sure, and if he if he does act up, guess what? I'm out of there. I don't Period. think I don't think they would have been out of there. 
I've you never had a midnight screening. We've well, been lucky. He he didn't act up. So would you have lucky. brought your four month old though to the Dark Knight Rises? Probably at midnight. At, at midnight. Probably, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, if I knew he was terrible. gonna, because they sleep eighteen hours a day. So probably, I would have had him in a uh, uh, a thing in front, and he would have probably slept through the I, whole movie. I, but I would have picked a seat close to the uh, aisle or whatever, and if he acted up, I'm out of there. Uh, period. Right. Hmm. You yeah, would you I, would hear not even you would hear maybe one quick cry and I would you would hear the door closing I'd be out of there. Just you're in a small minority. Most people are not that giving. Most people I'm when not, their kid cries are, are uh, well they're assholes. Some of them are. Yeah, yeah, that's the difference. But this is a midnight movie. This isn't like a kids movie. This is a fucking adult movie. Yeah, I don't know. It just like like this isn't like you're taking your kid to like a Saturday matinee. Like this just seems so selfish that like oh they had to go yeah. to the midnight. Well, their thought is they have no family and they don't make a lot of money. Uh, movie tickets cost the same every day. Every, I'm just, every show. That's what they're saying. That's no, I, I'm I'm just. I, I still hate them. Yeah, <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> All I'm doing is giving you the other side. Yeah, but yeah, of course you should. Oh, hate I hear you. That's I, how I, you feel. I've, I've I don't done care. plenty of stuff. I'm with, just saying with my I've daughter seen... because I know how she's going to act. Right. And maybe and and maybe especially they, when they're they first born, the all they do thing. is sleep, and they sleep through everything. At yeah, first. But I'm not entirely sure that a four year old should be watching. Well, the four year old that's that's a whole different argument. I mean. My, now, kid, my kid's three, and I certainly wouldn't let her watch The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, I oh. think that's where I'm in agree, uh, yeah. agreement with you guys. A four-year-old is a completely different animal. Yeah. They they, they're aware selfish. of everything at four. Yeah. They're just being selfish. I mean, people sometimes want to do what they want to do, and they, you know, whatever. The do you think shit. the guy was a little more selfish than the girl? Oh, my. That's why. That, that's, that's well, the girl is a hero, right? She, well, she did what her mother should do. She, yeah. She, she protected yeah. her kids. So, right. Someone's instincts kicked in. The others didn't. The, the guy who, who fucking lost lost wherever his infant was and then just decided to leave the theater Ugh. and not go back in. And I'm not playing phony brave. Believe me, I'm a coward. But I also don't have children. Like, you're, you're, you're supposed to have parental instincts and nature. Like, there's nothing more... Of course the mother wouldn't leave. Yeah. That's why they get them in custody cases, by the way. <laughs> if anybody's wondering why women win all yeah. custody, it's for this reason. It's because their instincts to protect their young. There's no way the mother would leave the kids. Oh, what's going on there with that couple? Okay. <laughs> White black. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little Hispanic. There's some. There's some a little brownish. I'm not sure. Yeah, she looks a black a guy. Hispanic. She's a uh, Colorado theater shooting. She looks like so. she plucks her eyebrows out and then draws Engaged. them in with a <laughs> pencil. That could be a Hispanic. Engaged hours after surviving tragedy. That's a. That's a. That's diff- them. No, that's, that's a different like couple. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who is that? That's a different couple, man. That's than the one you're the talking about. The couple right I'm now. thinking about is a white couple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sam. I think. What, what did you do? Uh, Sam doesn't see color. Hold on. What's he that? Just saw a couple. <laughs> no, I they just saw a couple. That's very noble. How about uh, Le- Legretta? That's her name. Oh, wow. That's them? Legretta. Yeah. And somebody else showed the wrong people. No, it's not yeah, them. Yeah, I saw a different picture. That's Patricia that's not, But they're, they're not the ones with the four month and the four year old. The other two were all over the place. Um, the other and two are, daughter, are, are, are uh, both Hispanic. Unless the couple's son, Ethan. That might be them. Maybe there was. Uh, maybe you're looking at a different picture. Maybe they put a wrong picture in the paper for that couple. It says, <laughs> "What's his uh, name?" Legretta and 19-year-old Jarrell Brooks. The story you guys are saying oh, about no, the, no, 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 Roars. Thank this you. is yeah. This guy saved her. Ah, oh, oh, that oh. guy. <clears throat> So that's that's the guy that saved her. Yeah. The black so dude saved after her, her fiance. After, fiance no. after the fiance <laughs> tooled out of no. there. There's so, no reason there should be a So they of think him. those two are the couple. Well, you I know think what? the media it, fucked it, it up. It, it kind of shows right there that that definitely makes me think that they're getting engaged. <laughs> yeah. You don't have a headline that says Colorado Theater shooting victim engaged than a man and a woman. I thought that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, what are you saying? No, 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 I'm no, saying no. that these two are not getting married. No, but like it makes that. it look like that. But these two were interviewed that. for whatever reason, and then yeah. I think the media heard, oh, engaged, and went with this picture, no. not knowing the, yeah. well, because the, he the, saved, the real guy. He saved her, and GMA reunited the two of them. He yeah. saved her and her daughter while that fucking cocksucker boyfriend <laughs> oh, of man. left his kid there. Yeah, but you know what? To his credit... He kept calling her cell phone. Oh, that's, that's cool. Hey, there you go. Okay. See? He lost track of his nice. infant son. That does wow. not sound like a man who would have walked outside if the kid was crying. <laughs> what a piece of yeah. shit. And, and that's why, like, I, I totally get what, what you're saying, Ope. Like, I've taken my daughter to stuff, you know, because I know how she's going to act. But, like, 
this this guy just gives me the sense that that he wouldn't have left like you or I would have. Well, you know, dude, unless, sh- unless he's in danger. Heard, yeah. Unless did I he change. jump off something? I heard he put the kid down and jumped, thinking that the, that was the best chance the kid had. I have no idea. What? I haven't read. that. I would have went uh, back in the theater, but you, I wouldn't have left the theater. You don't leave your. But you don't even know. Kid. I mean, you got a guy, a, a fucking maniac. Who knows what what is going on? Is People it your instinct to, to fall on your baby? Your instinct is to protect your of kid. Course, I would on gather. Your kid? Even if I did leave, yeah, I would have gone back in. Once you realize that, oh, okay, they're not out here, I, well, I've let said, me go back in. I said a few months ago, when you become a father, you realize that you would actually absolutely give up your life for your kid. Oh, yeah. I mean, there were boyfriends who took bullets for their girlfriends right. here, and this guy's running away from his kids. Well, Jeez. I wouldn't I th- fault the guy who left his girlfriend. Like, I, think- I could see myself <laughs> doing that. All I'm saying is I think you're breaking it down to the basics. I would like to know more details about what was going on there. He hightailed it out of he there. He hightailed it out of there. <laughs> you think yeah. that's all about He yeah. hightailed it the fuck out, man. You saw smoke, and he ran <laughs> out of that kitchen. And that's, why, that's why he, he said ran out of there me. like a cartoon character. Oh, yeah. plowing over children, women, and walkers. <laughs> That's why he wants to marry her. He feels guilty. Yes. He feels guilty yes. about the cowardly. Uh, and again, well, I'm not phony brave, but I don't have the, fucking infant children to look at. Well, after. get the interview because he, he goes through uh, moment by moment what he was doing. I think it was on Anderson Cooper, if you can find it. Then I got some Juju Fruits. He's like, he's, a, he's like the fucking guy in... Uh in the Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> I just stood right. on the stairs while his friend was being stabbed upstairs. Because his a account of what happened was chilling, to be honest with you. Yeah, look. Yeah. Like, chilling. His name is... I've uh, never been in that exact situation, but... Uh, but I, would, I can see leaving a, a woman, another adult. I can see doing that. I don't know. But an infant? You have a fucking four-month-old infant and you leave it in the theater? He throws the kid at the That's fucking the gunman. One. That's not <laughs> the one. Try to distract him. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not the one. That's not the one. Anybody get a fan vibe from the guy when you first see him? (laughs) Did you? Yeah, yeah. The the, the gunman. Oh, the gunman. You get like the second you look real quick, you're like the first thing I thought was, oh, God, it kind of looks like fan. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, they don't have the interview. It's chilling. It really was chilling. Maybe it wasn't Anderson Cooper. Sam, his name is... uh, Maybe it was Piers. It might have been that dope. Jamie Moore's R.O. I think it was Piers. HRS interview. Piers. I think it was actually Piers Morgan. I think he got that one. Did Piers ask him, why did you leave your son in the... It, it, it is, uh, it's about four to five minutes. I'm sure he tried to make it him. sound like he was... I don't know. How do you run away and leave them? Here there? it is. This is it right here. All this, right. This Let's is the couple we're talking about. I find myself just standing and just uh, my son's on the floor and I'm looking around, and like I see the balcony because the the sh- shots had stopped for a second, and I look over to see if I can jump over because I'm on top of the balcony and I'm contemplating in my head, like can I jump and can I jump with Ethan without him breaking his neck or me landing on him or, and like as I turn to like find Ethan in the dark of the theater with the gas, like I'm just so disoriented and I lose him. I just lose him, and oh boy. Uh, then he opened fire again, and I'm like, "You gotta get Ethan! You gotta get Ethan!" So I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm like, "Can you, you pause that back. real quick? You run Can you look at her Ethan. face? Oh, <laughs> look at the man. fucking face yes. on that! Look at her! There's not an ounce of a loving look. No, she is pissed. Right? She looks. She knows. <laughs> she's looking down. She's there's no emotion on her face. Like he's her. He and, left uh, her in the theater yes. to be shot. She he ditched her and you the must. kid. He left the fucking Baby to be oh, shot. Man. We probably will never get over this. No, Do you think no. that'll come up in arguments later on? Oh, in life? Yes. I, I, I would bring it up. I don't even know him. I'm going to bring it up with whoever I'm dating. <laughs> He'll never be allowed to go anywhere with that kid again. Oh, man. Dude, that's. D- d- listening to this ex- She was right there with him. Why would you need to jump instead of just laying over your fucking son? Oh, man. Yeah, just get on the ground. You picture your father fucking running running out of a room that there's a shooting in and leaving you there? Oh, man. What a fucking cock. (laughs) This guy sucks. Wow. Yeah, look. You're right. Her face. (laughs) She is fucking... Literally, she'd be happier if he was describing how he got blown in the lobby. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, you gotta get Ethan. You gotta get Ethan. Uh. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm like, you've got to run back. You've got to run and find him again. And, and then one side saying, just jump. If you run back, you're dead. That's it. You're done. You're done. This is it. Just jump. 
Just pray that he won't kill kill your four month year old. Just pray that he don't uh, find him. And uh, so I jump and I run and I land and I'm running as I'm running. I'm looking behind me to see if people are running behind me and I'm looking for her and uh, for uh, our boy. daughter and I don't see him and one half's telling me go just go back in go back like. You can't leave him in there, and it's like, well, if you go back, you're dead too. And what if our kids live and oh, send their orphans with no dicks. parents? And you're just thinking, like, please let him get out alive. And <laughs> then I'm thinking, I don't want to live if they all die. I don't want to live. You want to live bad enough to leave him there, motherfucker? <laughs> and her face has not changed. No, she's still no. looking she's down. She's stone faced. She's stone faced, looking down. Won't even look at him. She's dis. Disgusted with him. He fucking, he's, he's, watch how, fa this is how you know he's full of shit. When he's going, uh, I, uh, I was looking around and then all of a sudden he's like, I wanted to get back in. No, no, no. Describe the moment where you, you know where your baby is. There's four seats. Yeah. And describe how your instinct is to jump off the balcony and not protect Ethan. 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 <laughs> How did you get out of the theater? Like, why are you not? You couldn't see him on the well, dark theater floor. What, I understand being disoriented. And, and he was in the balcony. Yeah. And the gunman was uh, below. Yeah. He stayed uh, in the balcony. Saying, yeah. People are already saying he's never ever going to get the uh, number one dad mug <laughs> for uh, Father's Day. <laughs> Thank you, fish man. Yeah, he's this never going to get that. Feeling stinks. <laughs> I think in that uh, scenario, God forbid, if I was there, I would have had to stay. With my kid in the balcony, and then yeah. figure out a move. Yeah, he 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 went for his move way too early. Oh, way too yeah, fucking he, early. He looked around. And said, I don't uh, I don't see my son. All right, I'm jumping. Just get on top of I, the. But and, he and might just be a, lay there. He might just be stupid. I think I, I think that has a part lot of this to do with is it. he might just be idiot. stupid. You know. Even Uncle Paul lays on top of the kid, even when there's no gunfire. <laughs> in a yeah. safe movie theater, I, he lays down on top of the kids. I think you're really safe in the balcony. <laughs> Even if you're in the theater, right theater, right? I think so. Your parental instinct should take over he, and protect your would, fucking infant yes. kids. Because the gunman would have to come up and around, mm. up on, up into the balcony. Then him and, and, you, and Ethan could go for the jump if if, if uh, he has no uh, no choice. Ethan. Left. He was he was in a safe position compared to everybody else in that theater. That She's night. disgusted because another it. man helped her. Yeah, well, they're never going to get over this. No! Yeah. Why would she marry this guy? I mean, in the, of course, she said yes at the end because he had, you know. The only thing uh -huh. we, we will never know is the absolute panic that you feel in that situation. Oh, yeah. And yes. what that does to an individual is all I'm saying. Well, that, it's supposed to. We all to, would like uh, to think we'd be a hero and take, the table, yeah. take a bullet for our girlfriend or our wife or, you no, know. Not them, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or, or you own. know, jump on your kid. We all would. Absolutely say that, but the only thing we don't know is the um, the level of panic and what that does to the brain. Uh, That's all I'm saying. Just yeah. to throw it in there. Well, but you're supposed to you're supposed to have that. Uh, it's almost instinctual. Instinctual. Yeah. That's an animal fucking you're thing. Right. Right. But my That's... point is this: he went for his move way too early. He was in a pretty safe place. Yeah, considering totally. obviously yeah. his move should have been just to, to fucking, wait it out a little bit longer. Especially a fucking infant. Right. Like what? Fuck it, even dogs usually don't bite infants. <laughs> even shitty dogs know that infants are something you don't fuck with. Yeah. Did he at least shove the infant under his seat before he, didn't he do jumped? Anything. He didn't know what a kid he didn't know was. I couldn't find Ethan. I couldn't find Ethan. I, I, find Ethan. I gotta go back in. I gotta, but then I'm thinking I could be. He said, then I'm thinking I could be dead too. And then he's thinking, which is very telling because mm -hmm. he was like, ah, my family's dead. And then he's so. thinking, I don't want Ethan to be an orphan. Mm. You shut the fuck up. You did it for the kid. <laughs> Little orphan Ethan. But you left it. <laughs> You left Ethan there so he wouldn't be an orphan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While she fucking trudged out the two kids? Yeah, you don't. You know how awful this guy's going to be when they fly together? Oh, he's the worst. <laughs> I, I hope this fuck, she's not going to marry him. No. I no, got to hear what she says. So. She, she is fucking stone-facing him. Ooh, does she uh, not like this? Let's hear the rest. Uh... Please, I'm praying, and I'm just praying. Just please let him get out alive. And I got a fo phone call from... Uh, a Colorado number, and I answered it, and uh, thank God it was 
Patricia and just telling me. And her Patricia hero. Hold no. on, pause that. Yeah. It was Patricia and her hero, because that's yeah. the other picture, the yeah. black guy. Yeah. He was she, call, she was probably calling from the black from guy. From his cell phone. phone. Oh, man. Of course she was. Oh, <laughs> man, it was from his cell yeah. phone. And I and, called it back, oh, and there was a rap ringtone, and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was a black guy, too, because they are cool under pressure, man. Gunfire, <laughs> they know how to handle gunfire. Now, you could say that, or you could just say that they'll do anything for a white girl. <laughs> but good for that guy helping her out. That that's you know how fucking oh, disgusted man. she is? That you know how this guy has a deep seated humiliation. Our impotent man, yes. He fucking left his girl Cuck. and kids in the fucking theater. And, and another nineteen year old nineteen year old helped them out and now he's gonna sit there with her and explain that. This is I'm almost embarrassed for this guy. Yeah. And I feel terrible for her. Because you know this dummy wanted to come to the movie. Oh, He's man. the one that said we'll yeah. go. Uh, Selfish yeah. asshole. Fuck okay, it. Let's go. You know? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, fuck. For her to tell me, like, I have Asla. Do you have Ethan? And I didn't know what to tell her. And think that she, <laughs> she had a boy. Her. Can you pause again? I'm sorry. I can't imagine going to my way. Ah, I, don't, I don't have him. I don't have him. I jumped and ran. I jumped and ran. I don't know where the fuck he is. She's asking, do you have Ethan? And you're like, hi. Uh, excuse me. There was gunfire going on. I don't know how to tell you this, but I... Uh, Were you in there? <laughs> that was an every yeah, man yeah. for himself situation. Yeah, I mean, come on. Hearing this interview again, I might be changing my... Uh, <laughs> You know, but I mean the 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 panic in that theater though. Is I mean, maybe there's different levels of heroics and what you would do in this situation. But this guy took the complete <laughs> fucking coward's way. He left his own infant yeah. son. If it was somebody else's kid, I wouldn't sit here and post your phony brain. I really right, wouldn't, because right. I know I'm a fucking save your ass, yeah, fight or flight guy. But if you have your own infant. And your instinct is not to fucking protect your four month old, then you fucking should not be coming in women. Right. And four year old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course. And four year old. Well, she saved the four year old, right? Oh, yeah. Did she, she had, had the it all, infant she or had no? it under control. She yeah, had it. Well, how about she was a bit selfish running out of there, not uh, I got grabbing the husband and the new. And, and the oh, new boy. Wait a minute. Didn't she say, do you have Ethan? No, he, he said he was worried that that's what she would say. Oh. I think what happened was. But she said, I have both of them. He didn't want Don't worry, honey. Them. I have both of them. I saved both of them. But While I think because of the away. sheer terror and, and panic and mayhem. They were split up immediately. She's like, holy fuck, I'm just going to grab this kid and hope my husband grabs the other one and get us out of here. Yeah. Right? Uh, if they weren't the, together. If he had the baby and ran out and she had the other kid, I wouldn't be criticizing. Right. I'd go, That's, you know. He just completely dropped the ball here. <laughs> but he, you can compliment him on this. He did take the time to match his shirt to his hat. He did. <laughs> what a good <laughs> big Broncos fan. <laughs> so, Yeah. This guy, she's so <laughs> Dude, she's livid right there. Look at right her there. fucking face. Amazing. He stood in front of his closet trying to find a blue T-shirt to match his Broncos hat for longer than he stood trying to figure trying out to how find to find his this three months old. Uh, oh boy, yeah, that's pretty. It's funny. a different blue though. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh god, I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> Honey, wow. we gonna be on TV. Yeah, this uh, guy is truly fucking does, terrible. Does Piers give him any uh, lip about this whole thing? I think Piers is pretty amazed by his account. The whole th amazed? How about, look at the wife's or the girlfriend's face. Mm -hmm. Listen to his story of utter cowardice <laughs> and uh, comment on it. Well, let's see what happens. It's almost done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God she, she had them both. Patricia, uh, there, there is one happy ending to this and that is what yeah. happened in the hospital later on that Jamie did something very special tell me about that um I we were in the hospital for about a good a good 10 minutes wow. um and time. uh <laughs> he'd gone to the restroom and came out and he just looked at me and, and he said I know this isn't the the time or the place and he's like but will you will you marry me and I said yes and oh. you just Something like this, just I just knowing. <laughs> oh, she got out of the shitter. Going through. Yeah. <laughs> she was still watching shit off her. Head. She just took a nervous post, almost <laughs> murdered <laughs> shit. <laughs> and, he, and this idiot thought it was the perfect time. Yeah. As the fumes are wafting out, he's like, "That's what I want to wake up to." <laughs> this oh, this guy just isn't aware of anything. No, he's no an rain. idiot.
The, no. Women really want to be like in a perfect position if you're going to ask them to marry you. Yeah. Not coming out you of know, a shitter. After a mass shooting. Right. Wow. They already had yeah. two kids, so it's not like, you know, it's a. It's not like he. This is. A, he waited too long oh. as it was. Right. <laughs> and then when he finally did it after having two kids with her. It's after he left the kids behind in a movie theater that we yeah. being shot up by. A Let maniac. our engagement remind you of my cowardice. Right. <laughs> the time I, I ran shit out. right after you almost made me get killed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy stinks. Because <laughs> of the shit. Hey, yeah. Maybe he should stay off TV. He's not coming across too well. No. I bet that was definitely his idea, though, to accept the interview. You know, she doesn't want to like. Oh, keep he's telling like, people the I story. Gotta fucking, I gotta try to clear myself. And meanwhile, it just sounds like fucking an idiot. He sounds hateable. <laughs> yeah. I like her. I don't find her hateable uh -huh. at all. But Because you know he's the one that wanted to go to the movie. Yeah, let's, he let's go. There's no way. that if, Maybe yeah, they will get married. can't get a babysitter that late and everything. No, we'll take Fuck the kids. It. Just Fuck take it. the kids. Fuck it. No, they'll get married. It's only three hours. You got yeah. them. It's only three hours at midnight. <laughs> oh, boy. And the four-year-old loves Batman. Yeah. It was only fucking gunfire and murders and. <laughs> Don't worry about oh it. Oh my god. PG thirteen parental guidance. We right. are the parents. We're parenting. <laughs> We're parenting. So, We're guiding them. So this guy has got his first uh, court appearance today. Uh yeah yeah. And he yeah, shot yeah. a sniper or somebody. will get at him. No. No. no they way. always make sure these guys uh, are taken care of. I, I guess they said bad. he's gonna he's gonna go for the insanity plea. Yeah. It's gonna go. It's gonna be a little rough, though. I mean, he was planning this for about three months, so it does have that premeditation factor, not just like uh, you went off the deep end. They got the death penalty in Colorado. Yes, they do. Will they do something about it, though? Well, we won't be alive to see it. Yeah, most states have the death <laughs> sure. penalty, but they don't really, not most, but a lot of states have the death penalty, and they never use it. The appeals process Which also. Which is a complete and utter joke. It. If you have it, fucking use it. There's the appeals process, which goes on for 20 fucking years. But that's years. how they got around it. They basically don't want yeah. the death penalty in any states. So uh, they slow down the process. Not Texas, though. No, no. Texas will fucking fry your ass. Texas is uh, good when it comes to that. This guy's in a woman's, I think, the woman's unit in protective custody. Oh, great. Because all the MHs are talking about killing. the guy that ran him. out of the theater? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Should be in there. <laughs> this guy, this, uh, he, this fucking, he's, all the MHs want to kill him. Yeah. And he's, uh, they said he's spitting at guards. He's pretending he's the Joker. Oh, no, fucking he's not. kill this guy. No, no, he thinks he's the Joker. He's in a movie. Strangle him. Because he has not had any penalty yet. What what he needs to happen is they need oh. to walk him and, oh. and allow a couple of people oh. to yeah. drill their convict fists in the side of his face. A sound thrashing. One fucking broken jaw. You know what? Yeah. One fist coming through a bar oh. and connecting with his teeth yeah. will take this guy out of his I'm the Joker yeah. role play and realize I'm in for a horrible existence well, here. Yeah, one of the broads will take him out. Oh. Hopefully, <laughs> one of the broads could easily take him out. Shanked with a hairbrush handle. We've all seen the uh, MSNBC shows. Oh, right? lockup, yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck, those broads are scary. <laughs> Not quite the attractive. <laughs> oh my uh, god, <laughs> young convicts in there. Put him in the bushy. yard with the broads. The broads will absolutely take care of this asshole. Just He's fucking strangle him. He's definitely uh, being kept away from it. The, the Joker. He oh. thinks he's the Joker. Stop he it. thinks he's in a movie. Yeah, just take a giant meaty fist and pound his face. I don't even mean kill him. I mean, like, the first time, because right now, he's still, like, the evil guy. No one has addressed uh, him the way he should be addressed. Yes. Which is having, first of all, of course, having his teeth knocked out and his yeah. jaw broke. But those are tangible things. Like, those are not, you know, the death penalty someday. Having your jaw wired shut <laughs> is a real thing. Or having oh, teeth, fuck it, having gum pain because your teeth have been punched out yeah. is a real fucking thing. Oh. And one, I'm, once he gets a dose of that, he's going to realize that he is in a fucking very bad place. Yeah. And that's how the paper should be addressing this little cunt. Like, like he is the broken little nobody that he is. I'm not saying don't talk about it, but the fucking New York Post putting this guy oh. on the cover like... The crazed Joker plots escape. Literally, you are not only giving him what he wants, but you're encouraging other people to do it.
Yeah. You really are. And they've shown that in study after study. Profiler after profiler says that. People right. that are nobodies that want to be a somebody, uh, they take this route. Yep. And look, hey, he's a somebody. And now he's go. getting what he wants because he's an antihero. Like Alex in Clockwork Orange was an antihero. That's what this guy is to a lot of people. What about Uncle Hero? Oh, too? Jesus Bobby? Christ, Colby, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> 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 it, it's been brought up before, but it, it's funny how how they'll they'll show this guy over and over again. But they consistently don't show uh, people running out on the field in sporting yes. events. I and I know that someone has said that. Yeah, someone said that because perfect. they don't want to encourage other people to do yes. it. Yes, it's a great point. Yeah, because yeah, we 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 just suck. Yeah. Yep. Now that's got something to do with probably the uh, the venues putting their foot down. That's got, that that's got something to do. But you that what a great point. They don't want to encourage other people to do it. So they don't show it. Yeah. But this guy, they will put on the front page his evil glare. Ooh. He's, Ugh, he's the shit. Joker. And I know you got to name him. He's a criminal. And you, I mean, it's a real story. You can't not do it on principle. Yeah, yeah. But to call him this and to talk about him the way, like literally, if this guy had written, what, uh, James Holm, if he had written these headlines, this is how he would have written them. That's how he would have wanted them written. And, They're fucking, uh, yeah. these papers, but meanwhile, you know, you, you do a rape joke or whatever, right. you're a terrible person, but the mm. public tolerates this. This is what you do. You get the CIA involved, and you fucking take mm. this asshole mm. out immediately. And everyone goes, Ooh. I don't really know what the fuck happened, man. He was, he was guarded, and yeah, he just turned our back for a second. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why that conspiracy and and secret government shit oh, doesn't right. work. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is a perfect case where you should do something. Well, he's a patsy because apparently, uh, huh. how I've heard, the government oh, kind of staged Alex Jones this thing? whole thing. Did we get the Alex Jones audio oh. for today? He's a, com then? a complete <laughs> lunatic. No, we Everything to him is a conspiracy. Everything. Could you get a clip of Alex Jones? We should have had it today. He is even. Out of I mind. think he's an idiot on this one. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, he thinks uh, this is some kind of psyops. He loves saying psyops. <laughs> Please. Hey, how long did it uh, take for us to get rid of Timothy McVeigh? Yeah, it was a few years, definitely. But how many? Because, I mean, that, that's Maybe a death penalty one. case that should have been like. Floor. Was it 10 years? One, two, three. It was about 10 years, I'm thinking. Let me see. I think it was longer than 10. Aunt. Come on, You people. also had another guy testifying against him, though. Which made it a lot easier to, to nail him. Mm, uh, Terry Nichols, yeah. who did not get the death penalty. It helps if there's someone else testifying. And didn't he, at the end, my say point that is he it, didn't want any more appeals? Yeah. So Yeah, it was up to him, finally. Yeah. He finally said, look, just kill me. How many yeah. years did it take to kill him? Way too many is my, my point here. Yeah. Does anyone know the... Uh, the uh, he was the, They killed him in 2000. So, What? They say, it says they killed him in 2000? Did no. they? Was, it, was that it? What? Hey, Soup Jew, was that it? It was 90, wasn't it 94 that it happened? 95, April of 95. 95. They yeah. killed him past 2000. What are... uh, 2001, June 11, 2001. That's when he died. Really? Mm. It took six years, though. That's there was something satisfying that he never even got to see 9-11, though. Because he would have uh, loved that. He would have loved that, yeah. He missed 9-11 by a couple months. Good. Fucker. Yeah. Six years. Well, that's sort of speedy. <laughs> yeah, well. It kind of is. As far as death penalty goes? Yeah. That, yeah, that one's kind of speedy. But Six again, years. he was the one that had to go like, fuck, no more appeals, no more nothing. Just How long is the Alex Jones? Inside the Joker's lair. Oh, uh, they're calling oh, him the Joker. Don't him. call him the Joker. They're all just, a fucking part of it. And they know it encourages more, and they don't give a fuck. They don't care. Just strangle him. Is that a fucking mole on that broad's face? No, it's a bullet wound. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I feel like God. a complete idiot. <laughs> Who is that? She has uh, her chin. This is Greg Hughes. Uh, I feel like a complete idiot. <laughs> what? Is, is that really a bullet wound? Yeah, they're interviewing a girl. She had a tooth knocked out. She must have gotten, like, uh, I'm sorry. grazed on the chin. For real, I'm sorry. Well, I thought you meant the fucking newscaster. No, no, man, I saw them interviewing this girl, and I just looked yeah. up. I didn't... Uh, I'm oh. sorry. I she got like whacked. Idiot. Oh, all right. Ice kill! Ice kill! Sorry. Fuck For real, it. sorry. I, I, uh, hey, sorry. You didn't know. I'll make fun of a mole, no problem, but... <laughs> I guess uh, a lot of people couldn't help but see the Christian Bell wart slash mole. Good. Ah, that the, uh, <laughs> the the fucking everyone Bane's had moles. Voice. Yeah, how great is that?
Yeah. It, it annoyed all of it them. It annoyed everybody. Supposedly, Weepy Alfred. <laughs> supposedly his voice was easy to understand if you weren't in the IMAX. That's familiar, yeah. yeah. Supposedly. Mm -hmm. That's what I, uh, reports uh, that I got. And you know how we were kill I was killing MSNBC uh, when it was happening for not covering it accurately or, or, or enough? And people were like, why are you mad that they're over-covering it when you were killing because when it's an active news story, like when they're still pulling people out of the theater, right. I would like complete coverage. I, it makes sense to me. Of course. A, an hour after it happens. Because it's still news at that They're still point. bringing witnesses yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, of course. There's a difference between giving me constant coverage because the network is prepared or not prepared mm -hmm. and cartooning it with the Joker's lair. <laughs> right. The Joker's lair. Just the Joker. fucking kill No, he's him. spitting Stop. on the guards. Guess what? He's the Joker. Oh, he's crazy. Look out. Guess what? We're not better than that as a society. Take <laughs> him out back and shoot him in the head. Yeah. Be wonderful. And then the next guy might think twice about it. That's the start there. Yeah. And then you can discuss gun control, death penalty, all that other shit. Yeah. Take him off the fucking planet first. One caved in fucking mouth and this guy will feel differently. Oh, he'll His he'll Joker fucking... fantasy. Yeah. With a broken jaw or shattered right teeth. Now, the cops have to protect him, which is unfortunate, but they I do. I would love to talk to one of those guys. Like, yeah. I understand. Trust yeah, me. They have to. I really do understand, but I would love to talk to you about it. Like, that's got to kill you inside. Because if they didn't have to protect him, they would be knocking his teeth out. Right. That's all. Basically. How weird is that? They're, <laughs> they're the protectors. They're walking down the corridors or whatever. And knowing I want to fucking do something to this guy. But that's why they have that, because, like, other prisoners would do something, but you're legally responsible for a guy when he's in state care. Yeah. Because literally the guards would... I think the guards would be more likely to beat this shit, beat this shit out of this guy than that phony street justice that uh -huh. convicts have. The guards would be more likely to fucking... I think you're right. ...take this guy's fucking jaw off than, than I, other convicts. I love the fact that these inmates have a level of honor. Among themselves, I don't even think they do. Well, they're they're, uh -huh. they're all saying how they want to take them out. Uh, you, know you don't what, believe though? that shit? Nah, pedophiles survive in jail. Once in a while, someone mm -hmm. does the right thing. Pedophiles survive. Rapists I, survive in jail. Yeah, I, I think more of these guys would be taken out, but th that's how well they're protected. Maybe yeah. in the end. I mean, Jeffrey Dahmer, they wanted him forever, and then if you know, finally the guy got him with what uh, the the uh, handle. Uh, but that was, handle. It wasn't even over what he did. I know. No, no it's finally some, got to some him. prison beef. Like a beef, like having a beef with I think, somebody. <laughs> I think if you're in jail for a bunch of life sentences, you would absolutely be the guy that w would just yeah. take him out for well, cred in the uh, in the prison. Well, he'll be in fucking just protective battling. custody, and Fuck it. you're never gonna fucking hear about him getting uh yeah well, the getting next, killed. The next idiot that we're gonna uh, talk about is Alex Jones. He says, uh, "Is Batman Massacre staged terror?" So what? Can we do it after the break? I got to pee really bad. Yeah. Sure. Where's our grub? Oh, here it comes. And also Joe Paterno. We'll get into that shit as well. Oh. Serious XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show.